Hey everyone, this is Jesse from TooEarly.tv and what we're looking at here is the desktop to my MacBook. Now the purpose of this video is to show you my Windows XP installation here on the MacBook. Now if you're familiar at all with uh, OS X, also known as Leopard, you know that it comes with a piece of software known as Boot Camp. Now what Boot Camp allows you to do is install either Windows XP or Vista alongside OS X. However, you cannot run both operating systems at the exact same time. With Boot Camp, when you turn on the computer, you're given the option of booting into either Windows or OS X. What I'm going to be showing off in this video is a piece of software known as Parallels. If you look down here on the dock, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Parallels icon. It'll bounce around here and open up this window. As you can see, it says Microsoft Windows XP because that's what I have installed on here. I'm going to go ahead and click the play button and Windows XP is going to boot up here in this window. As you can see that was pretty quick here and we're now booting into the desktop. There's the familiar Windows XP boot sound and Windows XP is now fully loaded up here. Uh, as you can see it's currently in a window which I can drag around here. If I wish to go to full screen I'll just hit Alt Enter and Windows will now go into full screen here and it looks just like any other Windows desktop. Let me go ahead and pull up some uh, programs here. Let me go to games and let me pull up uh, 3D Pinball. As you can see everything's running perfectly fine, no slowdown at all. So let me go ahead and close that. Now the reason I installed Windows XP on the MacBook is because of this little program over here which is a photo editing uh, suite that I use. And uh, the reason I like this uh, piece of software here is because it's real easy to edit photos, you can do it real quick and it's just it's, there isn't a program that I found for the Mac uh, which allows me to do uh, the photo, photo editing that I need in the amount of time that I want to do it in. So this is what I'm using on this. Um, let me go ahead and pull up some other programs. There's Solitaire. Uh, let me go to the uh, my computer here. It says that I have a total size of 9.75 gigabytes with free space of 7.91 gigabytes. Um, that was because I allocated uh, 10 gigabytes for Windows XP. Let me go ahead and close that. Uh, is there anything else I can pull up here? Let me go ahead and open Internet Explorer. Just to show you that this Windows XP installation does share the uh, network connection from the MacBook. Let me go ahead and go to the TF Wire website. And there we go. We're now surfing the net here on uh, Windows XP. And as soon as everything loads here, maybe it'll all load. Now let me go ahead here and go to the podcast section. Let me go to video. Go to classics. YouTube does load. Why it's going so slow, I have no idea. Unless YouTube is down or performing maintenance. Alright, let's just go to YouTube then. Pull that up. Alright. So maybe it's just going slow on embedded video. Oh, that would be why! <laughs> 
I have, a, I have an older version of the Flash Player. Yeah, so uh, the Windows XP that I have installed on here is Service Pack 1. <laughs> so it probably doesn't have the latest of anything. So that's probably why that's not going to load. So I'll have to install that later. But that's pretty much all I want to show you here in terms of the full screen mode here for Windows XP. If you look on YouTube, and yes, you need the latest Flash Player installed. Uh, if you look on YouTube, there's actually some videos of people playing 3D games in parallels on the Mac. Um, I don't have any games to show off. Um, all the games that I have for Windows are for Windows 95, um, and those aren't even with me, so I can't demonstrate those. So let me go ahead and show you the uh, next little feature here of Parallels. Let me get back into the window mode here. Now something else you can do here is you can drag files uh, between OS X and Windows. I've got the uh, TF Wire t-shirt graphic over here on the uh, Mac desktop. Let me drag it over here to Windows. And as you can see, it now appears right here. Go ahead and open that up, and there it is. So besides file sharing, and aside from uh, being able to go into full screen mode for Windows, there's one other thing I want to show off here, and that's something called coherence mode. So let me go ahead and pull that up. You'll see the uh, Windows slide off to the uh, side there, and if you look down here in the bottom, we now have a start menu on the OS X desktop, just above the uh, dock down here. And let me go ahead and click on start. Let me pull up, oh, let me pull up WordPad. And I'm now running Windows applications here uh, in OS X. So with coherence mode, it essentially puts both operating systems on top of each other allowing you to run programs from either. Now if I go ahead and minimize this, if you look down here in the bottom, you can see that the uh, window that I just minimized is now, is now appearing on the dock. So let me go ahead here and uh, maximize that again. And there we go. Now personally, I don't really like the coherence mode. Um, let me take that back. It's not that I don't like it, it's that it's, I really don't see a use for it for me personally. Um, when I'm going to be using Windows, I'm going to be using it just for a few uh, certain things. So I can just pull it up in the window mode or I can go to full screen. I don't need to have both operating systems on, running on top of each other at the same time uh, like this. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and go back to single window mode. And we're back here in a window. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut Windows down. So I'll just go ahead here and go to Start. Go to Turn Off Computer. And go to Turn Off. Windows will now close down. And there we go. So go ahead and close this. And we're now back running, or we're just now back to running uh, OS X here. So that was just my little demonstration of uh, Parallels for the Mac. Um, so if you're a newbie moving over to um, either a Mac or a MacBook, like I have here, and you're not ready to give up Windows, you definitely need to check out Parallels. It's, it's definitely a piece of software that I highly recommend uh, purchasing. You can uh, buy it for, I think, $79.99. Um, it's, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, you don't have to buy another version of Windows. If you have a, uh, a restore disk laying around or one that came with your um, desktop or your laptop, that'll work uh, for, win for this Windows installation, no problem. Um, I haven't tried out Vista on this. Um, I have no plans of purchasing Vista, so I can't tell you how Vista runs, but Windows XP runs uh, pretty well on this. So. so I guess that's it. This is Jesse signing off.